Lisa Scafidi has launched a stinging attack on the Labor Party, claiming she's the victim of a four-year conspiracy to overthrow her. But there are also new calls for the suspended law mayor to resign following results of the local government elections. The verdict from Labor politicians is clear. The people of Perth want to move on. They want you out, they want you gone. Stand down now. And the besieged Lord Mayor Lisa Scafidi claims it's part of a conspiracy to have her overthrown. On 6PR Radio this morning, she said the Labor Party and two Perth councillors have been plotting against her for up to four years. And the Premier is really only acting under instruction from Templeman and Carey and the union left, as it's known, who I'm told control the current Premier's every move. And they all want me gone. But Liberal leader Mike Nahan has also called for the suspended Lord Mayor to resign after she was found to have breached the Local Government Act 45 times. I know that your listeners might not believe a lot of what I have to say because my name has been muddied in this process. But certainly the wider public and more sadly the City of Perth stakeholders do not appreciate the political influence that is currently at play. If Lisa Scafidi does return to the top job, she faces a new political challenge. Two of her council allies, Keith Yong and Judy McAvoy, were voted out at the weekend's local government elections. The ratepayers have spoken and they've said they want change. The old regime has to go. So you haven't been trying to unseat her for Absolutely not. And I, I just find it quite... Uh, quite uh, astounding. This is about good governance for the city of Perth and for goodness sake conspiracy theories uh, are not going to get the city of Perth back on track. Rhys Harley and James Limnios are expected to face off for the Deputy Lord Mayor position tomorrow night. Nathan Brooks, Nine News.